What are you doing? I thought it would be nice to get some cotton rope and make some plant hangers so you guys wouldn't just be sitting on the floor. You what? They're plant hangers, okay? Like, it holds up the base of your pot and you hang it. Uh-uh, I knew he was kinky. No, it's- uh, You are not hanging me from the ceiling. Well, no, not you. You're too heavy to hang from the ceiling. <gasps> you did not just body shame her. Not your body, your pot. You just body shame her. I don't have a ceiling beam sturdy enough. Oh, you don't have a sturdy beam? Not one with a strong enough foundation to hold- You know what else doesn't have a strong enough foundation? Our friendship. My fucking god. Good Monday morning. I'm about to attack this macrame hanger and replace it with a potted plant. You guys on my last live helped me decide where to put it to cover this ugly thermostat because I live in an old house with baseboard heat. Ready? This is the planter. I have two of them. It's from West Elm, but one's going right here. Hard one handed, but when I'm hanging things, I put a piece of tape on the back and I mark where the holes are. Now I know exactly where I need to drill my holes. And if you're not hitting a stud, put an anchor in. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna find a way to make this my entire personality and also make it everyone else's fucking problem. You let me go, yeah. Anytime I feel you got me, no. Anytime I see you, let me know. But the plan and see, just let me go. I'm on my knees. Wipe me out. Talk, talk, put my all killer bitch and itch and whoever falls. Wipe me out. Stop buying expensive plant stands when you can buy these stools at Ikea for $6. Uh-huh, you're welcome. Hack number two, buy out all the cute baskets from your local thrift store. Connect chains, twine, whatever you can find to make a cute hanging basket out of it. Hack number three, go to your local hardware store and buy copper piping. It's a really cheap way to hang a lot of plants in one spot. Hack number three, want to create one of these floating plants? I promise you, it's not magic. Get one of these outdoor hanging hoop things from Lowe's. They fit a six inch saucer like a glove. Follow Jungle and the Natty for more crazy plant lady stuff. You guys, I was so proud of myself because I went to a nursery today for only soil and I ended up at the cash register with only soil. So I say to the cash register lady, Jenny, like a dummy, Oh my god, I'm so happy. I came here for just soil and I'm leaving with just soil. To which Jenny had the audacity to respond. Yes, but um, did you see our Deffenbachias? I, I didn't know you guys had Deffenbachias. Yes, they're so beautiful and bright. Now why would I say no to looking at a bright Deffenbachia? <laughs> why did I follow her over to the Deffenbachias? Oh my goodness, but I shouldn't because I already have to. Okay. Jenny is a sweet, beautiful, angel, devil cashier person. And I am now the owner of a deaf and bakia named Jenny.
So this is our mature Monstera. She's about 20 years old. Um, she's about 10 feet tall and loves living in the sunroom. I did a little experiment on her just for science. Um, she has these very long aerial roots and I took some of the longest ones and stuck them in water um, because in their natural habitat they're often found next to a body of water with their aerial roots um, just dipped in there. I would say it was a success. Check out these roots. Uh, these roots have been just hanging off this plant for years and haven't changed. Um, and they've really adapted to the water. I put some activated charcoal in the bottom to keep the water clean. Uh, this made her so happy that she's immediately putting out a new leaf. Come on, let's go outside. Go outside for what? We're gonna fight. It is time for our most requested plant of the week. Here's how to take care of your peace lily. Not only are these guys tolerant of low light, but they love it. So keep them away from windows and make sure you give them lots of water. I like to water when the top layer of soil dries out and because they love so much water, it's super important to have good drainage. Always make sure to chop off dead flowers and they're super dramatic. So if you wake up one day and your peace lily looks like this, don't worry, she's probably just thirsty. Or suck boy, he'll shriek like a dog toy can't absorb it. Water just sits on top, he cannot drink it up, hydrophobic. When the sky comes falling, even the sun don't shine, I got faith in you and I, so put your pretty little hand in my I work with houseplants for a living. If you're about to buy your first plant, this is the one you should buy. First of all, it tolerates anything from low to bright light. You're welcome. You can set this baby and forget it for two to four weeks because it has these things called rhizome in the soil that retain moisture for them. And if you do get one, the other great thing is there's so many ways to clone this plant, making it a real bang for your buck. You can find them really small or really big like this one, and you're looking for the name ZZ Plant. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots. I've got no roots. If you keep watering your plant, but it doesn't seem like the soil is absorbing anything, you probably have compacted soil. Here's how to fix it. Telltale signs of compacted soil is a super hard to break apart first layer, water just sitting on the surface, or water draining through it, but the pot doesn't get any happier. My favorite method to fix it is stabbing with a chopstick to break up that soil. A few squeezes on a smaller pot also does the exact same thing. If none of those things work, it's time to lift that plant out and break it apart manually. And of course, if none of those things work, it's time to repot. You'll know you fix the problem if the pot is super heavy after you water. Please don't pet me. No petting, thank you. I don't wanna be petted. Do not pet. Mm -mm. You can go pet your mom or something. No, no, no petting, no petting. Get your petty paws away from me. I breathe in, I love you. I breathe out, I love you. I breathe, I breathe in, I love you. I breathe. More unhelpful advice from the plant Facebook groups. Question Picked up my first Monstera Refitafora today. Tips, tricks, and photos of yours would be appreciated. My favorite answers. I want one. Oh my god, I bought one that died within a week. I have one too, but Raphidophora tetrasperma is not a monstera. Someone responds, their common name is mini monstera. Even though they're not technically the same, plant names are weird. And the last response to that one, it is not a monstera. Stop calling it that.